Howdy, my name is Garrett Nickel. I'm from Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and I'm a member of the Fighting Texas Aggie class of uh, one of these days. Although I guess my ring does say 18. My grandfather was an Aggie in... He went two years at Tarleton State. He did the ROTC program there. He, from there, went into the military. This was during the Korean War, and he never saw any action. He was stationed in uh, El Paso the entire time. But after he did his two years of military service, he then decided to go back to college. And at this point in time, he already had a wife and a child who is my uncle. And so he came down to deciding between A&M and UT, sorry, TU, and uh, he made the right decision. The next up for college was my uncle Barry, who him and uh, his wife, my Aunt Paige, they were both classes, class of 77. And then following that was my dad, 1981. And my mom was sometime around there, but she doesn't like me to tell what year. So that's, that's mostly, you know, my dad's side of the family. My mom's side is also up there. My grandfather uh, got his PhD at A&M. Uh, he graduated initially from Sol Ross State University. He then went to a school in Idaho for a master's, and he got his PhD in biology at A&M. And he ended up teaching at Sol Ross State for a number of years and retired, I think, in 96. My mom actually lived in College Station during her middle school years, and that was when my grandfather was getting his PhD. Uh, she, my mom ended up going to A&M. My aunt went to A&M, and ironically enough, my parents didn't meet here. They met in Midland, Texas, when they both worked for an oil company. So yeah, my whole family, all Texas, all A&M grads, uh, my parents decided to have a little bit of fun. So when they got married, they found out that they couldn't have kids. And so they decided, all right, well, let's go somewhere fun. Let's move somewhere that we can just enjoy our lives. Where do you want to go? Is up between Santa Fe, New Mexico, or Jackson, Wyoming. And they ended up choosing Jackson, Wyoming, and about two months into living there, surprise, so when my uncle heard that my parents were going to have a child out of state, he was devastated. So he decided to get what he called some sacred Texas soil to put under the delivery bed when I was born in Wyoming. He lived in Fort Worth. He drove down to A&M uh, late one November, uh, went to the bonfire field after they had just burned it, and scooped up a jar and sent it up, and that was under the delivery bed. Some people say, Garrett, when did you decide to go to college? I told him like, I was, that decision was made for me, and I was okay with that. One thing I subscribe to a lot here at a and is the idea of the two percenter, um, saying that, you know, classes are only 2% of your college experience. And I agree with that mainly because the lessons I've learned in college and the things that I've experienced that I feel like have shaped who I am today, very little of that was actually done in the classroom. I've learned a lot about myself just interacting with people here, whether that be professors or friends or just random students I'll see during the day. It's really changed me for the better, I believe. And any day I get to walk around on campus is a good day. I just get to see all the, I don't know, there, there is that spirit that can never be told. That's That exists, that's here, and it is something that cannot be stressed. Like you just have to experience it. You, you have to experience it. You can't just listen to this video and understand how everything here works. It's just a very cool place.